Yo, what up, what up, this thing on? <laughs> Yo, it's Killer Cam, the SR20 Tech, back again. We're about to start putting my black B13 back together because um, it came back from paint the other day. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys what it takes to put something like that together in 2023, along with part numbers, just in case you guys wanna do this at home um, on your own, you know, on your own vehicle. So um, before I get into that, I wanna take a small minute to say thank you to um, an OG SR20 enthusiast, um, Lance Edwards. Um, what he did was, he made these brackets. What this is, is a fire extinguisher bracket for the B13. And this mounts underneath the passenger side uh, seat and it bolts up to, you know, the stock location where the seat bolts would go, right? This one is set up for a, a element type fire extinguisher, which is like a, a skinny cylinder type um, fire extinguisher and it just clips into place. Um, on this project, I'm gonna be running Lance's bracket with the element fire extinguisher in addition to another one probably in the back seat. Um, when it comes to racing and motorsports, it's very, very important that you stay safe you know you can never be too safe so um, if you're into any of that then it would probably be a good idea to have a fire extinguisher in your vehicle um, now I don't know if he's gonna be making any more of these I mean it might he might if there's enough interest probably uh, but this was just like a small little group by that he did on um, social media and um, yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, I, I gotta get this, you know. Uh, the craftsmanship is definitely on point here. This is a very nice piece. It's powder coated red. I believe they were available in black and red. Um, but I got two red ones. One of them um, I sold because I didn't know you couldn't run one on the driver's side and passenger side because the holes are offset there, right? So um, the other one I ended up selling to somebody. But I still have this one and I'm going to use it in this project. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you, Lance, for making this for the community. It's so important that we support those who support us in this community because um, that's really the only way that we keep these cars alive. A lot of the big name companies, they don't make parts for our cars. So a lot of times we're relying upon people within the community that have the know-how to uh, make parts, you know? So um, huge shout out to Lance. Thank you so much for this, bro. Um, I really, really appreciate this, and I'm sure the community um, also appreciates you making this um, these for us. Appreciate it, homie. All right, so really quick, um, when it comes to B13s, you gotta remember you're practically dealing with a classic car at this point. These things are like 30 years old. So what happens over time is all the rubber seals around the windows and uh, the moldings and stuff, they kind of dry rot and crack with time. Um, fortunately, this stuff is still available. It's not available through the dealership per se, maybe Nissan Japan. Um, but if you're looking for this kind of stuff, you can find it on eBay or um, I think TDMI makes a complete kit for the entire car that you can buy. Um, but if you go through TDMI, be prepared to pay. Um, it is OEM um, parts that they sell, but it's going to cost you. So kind of, you know, weigh your options, what your budget is. If you can afford it, go through TDMI. They get you the complete OEM gasket set for the windows. If not, if you're kind of balling on a budget, which, you know, we try to save as much money as we can over here, um, you can go on eBay and find at least the, the door seals and everything. Um, what I did with this project was the door stuff I got off of eBay and then the windshields I got from TDMI. So, um, yeah, the quality is still there. I mean, you got to think at this point it's a 30 year old car, so anything is better than what's on the car right now. So, um, yeah, I went that route. I'm going to go ahead and post the part numbers and everything right here for you guys. And that's going to be um, window seals, belt molding and uh, interior door seal, the striker, striker covers, and door hinges um, for both sides. I'll go ahead and post that information here for you guys, and um, that's gonna be for if you're trying to do the same thing at home, all right? So here are all the part numbers. Number one. 
Another very important seal is going to be your trunk seal for the, uh, the inside of the trunk. This seal right here that goes around the perimeter of the interior of the trunk, those with time, you know, they wear out, sometimes they leak or whatever. Um, this can also be found on eBay for relatively cheap. I think there are two different designs, one that's one complete piece and then one that has a split in the middle somewhere. Um, I got the one that's one complete piece because I felt it just, it looked better. So yeah, um, this is also available on eBay, relatively cheap. Now, if it's not in the budget to buy TDMI's complete seal kit, then you can always just get the windshield kit from them and then source your window seals elsewhere. Now, whenever you guys order this, you're gonna receive a box like this. Overnight parts from Taiwan, right? <laughs> uh, you're gonna get a box like this and it's gonna be filled with every gasket, every seal, every retainer piece, every corner piece, everything that you could think of that you would need for the front and rear windshield. I find it that this is the easiest route to go because you get everything from one source and you're not, you know, stuck looking for like 10, 15, 20 different part numbers trying to hunt down everything. You could get everything from one source. TDMI, they sell it as one whole kit. Another big thing is the quarter glass on these cars. It's discontinued, you can't find it nowhere. Um, there are aftermarket companies that made them. I don't know if they still make them, but that's another thing. You can't replace the seals on those windows. It has to be the whole glass, is what I'm saying. Um, I, that one, I have no ideas. The only thing that comes to mind is a dude named Raul out in Cali. Um, he specializes in auto glass. I think the company's name is Direct Auto Glass. He might be able to point you in the right direction. Um, he is one of the premier uh, windshield and glass installers um, on the West Coast. So um, he might be able to point you in the right direction. Um, I'll post his screen name uh, somewhere up here. So if you're looking for those items, you can maybe get in contact with him. Maybe he can help you, maybe you can't. but. Hopefully he can point you in the right direction. So there's a lot of stuff planned with this new B13 that I have here. We're gonna be upgrading the engine management, upgrading the fuel system, upgrading the turbo, wheels, tires, um, brakes, you name it, a whole gang of stuff. Um, so y'all remember to hit that subscribe button <laughs> so y'all get notified when I post new content. Um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. It's still peace, power, and positivity. And um, I really, really appreciate y'all watching, man. I think we're at like 2,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely insane. I remember when we were at just 500, you know? Um, I really, really appreciate the support, y'all. And um, I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all stay up.
secret, but not mystique. No more secrets.